Yeah. And the rising humidity. It'll be warm today, but it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> I know. Great news yeah. by all. But yes, we are going to see, you know, if you love summer heat, yeah. the next stretch is for you. If you hate it, there are options for you. Libraries, coffee shops, splash pads, a lot of free opportunities to stay cool. But we have a stretch of 90s that are on the way, kicking off on Saturday, lingering to Sunday and into also Monday. This is our next three-day stretch of some heat. Now, it's not record-breaking by any means. You can see the hundreds there. But again, we are talking about an extended stretch of weather that is going to bring us this heat and humidity. But this is summertime in Milwaukee. Today, clouds of sunshine. It'll be sticky, but we have the 80s that return. Yesterday, we topped out exactly at that 77 that we forecasted. This weekend, we are heating up, and I'm tracking a couple of storm chances. I'll highlight that here in a moment. And next week, it's going to take a little bit of time for us to cool back down. And we do have some rain chances again as well. But anytime we do have high heat and humidity, there's always always an opportunity for a little pop up shower like an isolated thunderstorm. We got that yesterday in Milwaukee County and we also got that in Waukesha County the day before. Right now there's a tiny little shower to the south. There's a tiny little area of low pressure. It's moving out. It's bringing us these clouds early this morning, but we will go from clouds to sunshine today with highs near 80 degrees, 82 as we go into tomorrow as we start to see that heat go up a little bit. The humidity slowly going up with it. Saturday that 90, there are some little pop-up chances. That's why I put it there on the icon. 93 on Sunday with, I think, at this point, some early rain chances. Monday, 92, and then 86, then 80. So it just takes a little time for us to cool back down. But that mugginess really is not going anywhere. In fact, it's here to stay for a while. So the reason we're this warm, Pay attention over here. This is where we have that dangerous heat wave going on in the des desert southwest. When you see those colors in the gray, it's never good when the weather models go into the gray category, but that it showcases the extreme heat. We will be tapping in on those 90s. The gray colors are those triple digit temperatures. And the big reason is the jet stream's way up here. And so it's allowing for all that heat and humidity to come in from the south and get as far north in some spots as southern Canada getting through the Hudson there. Once that jet stream dips, we will get back to more normal temperatures. What's not going to dip is the dew points. They're actually going up heading into the weekend with dew points in the 70s. So, as we mentioned, it's just hot and humid. We have high pressure today. There's all the little bit of rain that's heading towards Chicago. Yeah, you could get a little pop-up shower today, but I'm not expecting it. Tomorrow, the same deal. Whenever you're hot and humid, you could see a pop-up shower. The next best chance of some rain in the forecast really is going to be Saturday night going into Sunday morning with a cold front on the way. I don't expect anything strong or severe out of that, but I will show you the latest Storm Prediction Center outlook that does highlight right here. So if you're heading up to maybe La Crosse, Minneapolis, Superior over the weekend, this is for Saturday. By Sunday, those storm chances move their way over off to the east. So keep that in mind as you're making your plans. Your seven-day forecast does highlight temperatures in the 80s today. We have that peak of heat happening on Sunday, and we kind of work our way back down going into early next week and again the best rain chance I would say would be Saturday night going into Sunday just be aware there's always a chance of a little pop-up yeah definitely like you said find